So it's a really big day for one of our employees, Mr. Raymond Benton. Uh, has officially made it to the VIP program, so we're gonna uh, go give him his VIP program pack. Hey. Congratulations, man! You made it to the VIP program. We're, uh, we're digging test pits out here. This is our new building site for MKC 3.0. Uh, we haven't actually bought this land yet. We're, we're under contract and we're close. Um, but in anticipation of getting this land uh, bought here in the next 30 days, we're also doing the architecture for the building, the engineering. And in order for the engineer to engineer the, the, the size of the footings and the walls and how deep and whatnot, we have to know what the building's gonna sit on. For those big steel columns to sit on concrete, we have to know that there's enough structure underneath them to hold them up. And so we're digging these test pits, and uh, this guy's a geotech, so he is uh, gonna test this soil, figure out how much clay's in it, how much dirt's in it, uh, how structural it's gonna be. And then we'll also know with this big hole back here when we fill it, what kind of material we're filling that hole with because we're going to be building our building kind of over that hole. Um, this is my dad's backhoe. Uh, it, he brings it down every winter. He's got a construction company and so it sits at my house. So I just kind of got lucky it was here. So I'm digging these test pits. Uh, he's going to take it back home, but uh, it's kind of handy to have these skills to be able to do this. It saves us quite a bit of money. Uh, I kind of hope that we find more of that gravel here. I may even, for the hell of it, dig another one over there, just like see where that gravel, or maybe one over on the other side of your car, just to see if we have more clay over here, or you know, what this looks like. I'll go fill that other one in while you're doing that. Well, we got uh, these first two test holes done. Uh, really nice gravel in those. I like what I'm seeing. This, this next one here was a little bit more clay. Uh, this material can really change a lot, so we're going to dig seven to nine holes. Um, we're hoping when we go down here a little bit deeper, we'll hit that gravel again. We don't really want to be building on clay. Uh, but once we understand where gravel is and where clay is, we can kind of work around that gravel, that clay and use the gravel, even if we have to mine some out, and fill that hole back up with, with junkier material. So uh, I guess we'll see. That one's not as fuzzy. It's, did you just make it bigger? No. So right now we're testing out a logo for laser engraving for the Frenchtown Bronx. Um, you can see we've had a couple trials here trying to dial it in, get more detail, uh, make it not as fuzzy, and see if we can get a pass from upstairs. Ready? Yeah. Same horse. Or Bronco. What's up, guys? Nick with MKC. I'm a knife tech here. Uh, we kind of just want to run you through our, uh, our Kydex process. These are our presses. Um, we'll turn these on. These will get heated up to like 375, 376 degrees. We'll grab our Kydex sheet or our Kydex uh, just blanks here. We'll throw them in our presses. Uh, we'll heat them up for 20 seconds. Um, and then from there, we'll take them out. We'll put them in these uh, jigs here. And um, this is like for any knife we have. They're kind of annoying to open up, but like these are our Stonewall ones. So we'll pop that Kydex in here. 
We'll close this up and we'll go ahead and throw it in our press. Get it in there, we'll press it. And then from there, they'll come into these buckets and then we'll go in the CNC machine. That'll do its thing. We'll get pulled out of the CNC machine. We'll bring them over here. We'll snip these tabs off. Just snip these off. They're already snipped off, but they have tabs that hold them into the, uh, the jig. We'll get two pieces. We'll rivet them together. Uh, from there, we'll go into buckets here. We'll take these buckets over to our buffing room. We'll throw them in these little buckets here out of our big bucket, and then we will buff them. So they start out pretty rough, and then we'll go through, we'll buff them, get them all uh, smoothed out, and then they'll end up looking nice and smooth like this. We'll sand them, then we'll QC them, blow them out, and uh, we'll send them back on that shelf, and, and they'll be ready to go over to clean the sheath. So that's kind of the Kydex process. Not too much, uh, not too deep there, but we get it done. One of our VIPs who's also an admin for the Montana Knife Company User Society on Facebook, and he's a friend of mine, uh, his son is a really huge fan and we drew up, or he drew up a, a photo, like a picture, hand drawn of like our knives, he's a huge fan the kid is, right? So uh, I just so happened to see um, the picture of it and I went to Dylan, one of our engineers, and had him 3D print an exact replica of one of the drawings that the kid did of one of our knives and uh, wrote him a card, a few of us signed it and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna box it up just like a regular MKC and send it to him. So, so we have some of our actual screws that we use for our knives, for uh, our magnet cut knives. I'm not really sure what uh, this material is, but then whenever we make uh, prototypes of knives, we will 3D print them just like this. So this is a one of a kind for uh, this young man. Who did that? I had Dylan 3D print Who it. Who did that? Dylan. <laughs> He tried, man. <laughs> so I had this Dylan 3D print. This would actually be kind of a nice like, chef knife. I know. That's what I thought you had. I was like, uh, I haven't seen that for a Yeah, Dylan, we can't, we can't laser the logo like we do the rest of our knives. So Dylan tried to, tried to replicate it. He did his best. The reason why Dylan's <laughs> an engineer Sharpies. and not a marketing guy. What's up, guys? Tori uh, from Customer Service here. Uh, this week we are giving away this beautiful knife, Whitetail. It's gorgeous. Uh, you can see your see your future just out there working and putting this thing to work soon. Uh, how are you going to get this? You're going to like, subscribe to this video, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and what else am I forgetting? Like and comment on this video. Like and comment on this video. Then subscribe to our YouTube. And then subscribe to our YouTube. And sign up for our emails. And sign up for our emails. And then get the same.